Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just want to show, share a, a particular problem we got in the workshop today with you, uh, and again, all around voltage drop. Okay, we've got this 2014 Q7 which has been presented to us, a very frustrated customer. Uh, it's been to the dealer three times. It's had uh, many, many thousands of dollars worth of work done to it for an intermittent starting issue. Uh, now, the more I got off the customer, again, get, gaining that information off the customer, it's intermittently not starting uh, and, and uh, supposedly something around a flat battery. So it's had an immobiliser issue uh, uh, resolved, uh, an immobiliser module, like the steering column, uh, done by Audi, thinking it was an immobiliser issue. It's had a new starter motor fitted to it, thinking it was the starter motor. And in frustration, uh, the last thing was that he was told they were going to replace the main starter cable, a positive cable, to the starter motor. And I told him it's unlikely to be that. It's probably going to be some sort of voltage drop. So... This bit of car has come to us. If we get, we're just going to give it a start now. You can sort of hear as it labours to start. So that was a real labouring start. So what we've got now is we've got the car fully loaded. So everything's on, air conditioning, rear demister, front demister, headlights, fog lights, air con, everything's on as much as possible. We check the voltage, the voltage is here. We check the voltage at the jump points here on the chassis. You see we've got 13.2 volts. So that's pretty low to start with. Now as soon as I get my negative probe here and I put it on the engine 13.8 volts so we've got a voltage drop there between 13.4 13.9 so virtually half a volt voltage drop already here 14.2 there as it's slowly increasing there and on the chassis here 13.5 so we've got a good half a volt voltage drop there now we've quickly had a quick other, other, other test. At the battery, we're getting exactly the same thing. The battery sits under the passenger seat. We've got the same thing as we have here. We've got that half a volt while we've got between the, the block and the chassis. So we know it's on the earth side. We don't have a, a voltage drop on the power side. We have it on the earth side of the starting system or, or from the block. And again, we've just tested that under uh, our normal uh, running complements. It probably would be significantly worse if it was under cranking, which we've just heard. So, we're going to have now have a look at the thermal imaging camera to see if we can spot where this particular load is on the car. So we're just going to raise the car now. We'll be back with you shortly. Yeah, so back again. We know that we've got a bad earth or a, vol a bad voltage drop between the block and the chassis on this particular vehicle with the starting issue. So again, the thermal imaging camera, great tool to be able to find these sorts of things. Anything hot is going to show up. So we're looking for that, uh, that earthing cable that earths the chassis to the block so we can actually detect whether it's got any heat in it. So a bit, a bit of a general good look around, but the cable itself is up in this spot up here. But if I just shine the camera up, that's the actual cable we're looking at there. You can see how it's got some real hot spots in this cable. And don't forget we're only running the car at the moment, so we might have 40 or 50 amps going through there, but you can see how hot that cable is, it's glowing. Uh, and again, if you look at it from a visual point of view, up through there you can see the cable is really, really burnt. You can see the burn spot on the cable. Someone's wrapped it in, in tape as well. So again, that particular cable is where our issue is. Now we have already ordered a new one, which we haven't fitted. But this is the new cable here for it. So you can see it's a very heavy duty uh, a, a cable. It uh, locks up to the, to the chassis, to the block. Obviously it's had previous problems because someone's attempted to tape it up uh, to, hot, to mask the burning of it or whatever. But I'm quite sure once we fit this up to this particular vehicle, the problems with the starting, etc., will be finished and, and over. So that'll fix the charging voltage drop, but more importantly, the very large voltage drop when, it's, when, it, when it goes to start. The starter cable or current is going through this cable mainly to get the pack or the earth side of it to complete the circuit uh, from the starter back to the battery. So one of these on there should be able to fix this problem. We are going to upload this as a repair solution on our website, so keep an eye out that. Remember, you've got one of these with a starting issue. Uh, again, thermal imaging camera, fantastic tool for providing these sorts of things. Voltage drop testing, vitally important that you use those voltage drop testing. If you haven't done our webinar series on electrics, on webinar number one, we cover voltage drop testing elaborately and very, very uh, detailed. So if you haven't seen that one, go to our website. In the webinar series, you can buy that webinar on demand for $50 plus GST. So if you want to learn more about voltage drop testing, go to the uh, website, look up our training through the webinars. Webinar number one, 1A in the electrical series, covers voltage drop testing quite extensively. Hopefully that helps you out for this car or for a future car you might have. Uh, again, we'll see you next time.